And uh, if you think about it, we read somewhere that uh, most of the organization uh, uh, only developed their, uh, like 5% uh, their coding their own. Uh, I mean, most of the code in some organization are used from other platforms. Right. So we are have a heavy dependency on other code. But how can we know that we can trust it? And in our research, we, we show how, really, how it's uh, really easy for attacker to upload uh, malicious code or... Mm -hmm. In big company, we have a lot of uh, EDR and other uh, complicated solutions. Yeah. But uh, what about your third party? Correct. Because yeah. attacker, it's really simple for attacker That's to right. inject code to your uh, development process. That's right. Yeah. I, I can tell you top that like uh, you put so much money into making a good firewall and, and uh, not having uh, stuff run that you don't want and phishing, which is good because phishing uh, is a, a main attack these days. But an attacker can so easily get into an artifact, the media, uh, mainly focus about malicious Python packages, malicious NPM packages, but they do not talk about the whole uh, process that we've talked here, about Correct. the ID, SEM, and everything. Right, that right. An attacker needs to, just uh, to include just one, one. Just, right. just one, it can be in the ID, it can be in this, but there are many other phases that we need to, be, we need to look out for malicious activity. And if you're thinking about this, the developers nowadays um, really start to stop writing their code. They uh, sometimes use answer from Stacks Overflow and ChatGPT. And let's yeah. say that uh, ChatGPT suggests them to install some package or uh, an answer on Stack Overflow. So they're doing it blindly and they don't know wow. uh, uh, Yeah, ChatGPT is malicious too. Yeah. No, <laughs> I really think it's an amazing tool. But, uh, a lawsuit coming, yeah. I think we need to evaluate open source projects more carefully before picking them because sometimes uh, mm. they can contain risk or malicious code. Mm. For example, uh, you know that uh, if uh, Microsoft uploaded the, the package, you can trust it because Microsoft is a big uh, right. co company, but we are able to fabricate it and, ch and attack you, uh, for example, upload malicious package and then uh, change the owner uh, instead of him to Microsoft mm. in order to make the package look more innocent. Mm, mm, uh, so mm. even if you try to trust other uh, owners before you picking package, uh, the, some platform are vulnerable to some attacks vector that could allow attacker to uh, um, spoof this, uh, spoof the owner. Right. Uh, so it's very similar to say some spoofing, uh, a spoofing exercise in a phishing email, for example. So, yes. so you, you think that it's coming from Microsoft the email, but it's actually not.